There we go, you can see it's charging right now. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Andobilt wireless charger. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. Also, you can see I have the Andobil Easy Cup car mount here in the studio today. I've reviewed that already on my channel, so be sure to check out that video as well. Now we can go back to the wireless charger. You can see the retail box and packaging right here. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up we have our user guide and manual in multiple languages right here. You can see it from both sides. From the manual, we can learn more about the tech specs of this wireless charger. It supports up to 15 watt max. You'll have to use your own power brick to get that output and it will depend on your device and what it's capable of charging at. Then you can see we have our USB cable right here, USB type A to USB type C. And then we have the charging pad itself with their logo and branding on it right there. Great large surface area. You can see the two-tone color scheme and pattern they have going on as well, looks great. Very thin design as well too, we can rotate that around. And you can see our USB type C port. And then we can flip it over to the back side. You can see more wireless charger information. This will work great to charge your smartphones and maybe your accessories like your AirPods, any sort of wireless earbuds, that sort of thing. You can use this charger. So now let's go ahead, let's fire it up and try it out. So I'm back now with a couple different devices that we're gonna try out with the wireless charger. I also have the wireless charger connected to our wall with a USB type C cable and an 18 watt power supply. Again, this is up to 15 watts. That will vary depending on the power supply brick that you use and your device and the speeds that it supports for wireless charging. So first up, you can see we have the iPhone SE 2020 with its case right here. We're gonna keep that on. Same with the Pixel 5 right here. We have our case on and then we have Pixel Buds if you wanna charge your wireless earbuds as well, if they support wireless charging. So we have three different devices that support wireless charging right here. Let's go ahead, let's place them on the charging pad. So first up, we'll do the iPhone SE 2020. There we go, you can see it's charging right now. Let me turn the screen back on. You can see that right there. I can actually position it pretty far to the left or the right, and it will still hold its charge. So we're still charging right now. Take a look at the space right there. We can go a little bit further and it should drop off. So it's not charging anymore, but watch as we move it back to the right. Let's go back this way. Eventually it will start to charge again. There we go. It's charging right now as we speak. So you don't have to have it dead center. There's plenty of space on there to charge your device. And obviously we're using a case and it's charging just fine. Now let's try the Google Pixel 5. Same thing, we'll keep the case on. We'll line it up towards the center. Here we go and we're charging it registered just fine. Same thing, we can move it to the left if we want, and eventually it'll stop charging, just like the iPhone. So there we go, we're not charging anymore. And now we can bring it back to the right. And we're already charging again, and you can see it's charging wirelessly. Last but not least, you could use headphones as well too, earbuds if they support wireless charging. Go ahead, just place the case on, and there we go, our indicator light for charging just lit up. So it's working great and we can position that around too. We can really rotate that. Again, there's plenty of space on this pad to charge your wireless device. So after using this charger, let me share with you guys my final thoughts. From a design standpoint, very happy. It's a super functional charger, right? I love the pad design. I love how wide the pad is too. So we have plenty of area to charge our devices. It works with phones, earbuds, as you saw in this video. Also it's USB type C up to 15 watts. So I'm happy with that spec. Obviously, I'd love to see it charge even faster, but we gotta keep waiting for the technology to continue to advance to push the limits of wireless charging. Also, the blue light is a nice subtle touch. I think that's really a cool feature on this wireless charger. But after using it, there is something I noticed that could be a deal breaker for you guys. So it does emit a ticking noise, a humming noise when it's charging and transmitting power when you put your device on here. I swapped out cables, wall chargers, different devices, and it does it constantly. So if you're in a noisy room or noisy environment, you're not gonna have any issues. You wouldn't even notice it unless you put your ear to it and you can hear it ticking in a constant rhythm. But if you're gonna be using this to charge your phone at night on your nightstand next to your bed, 
this is not going to be the solution for you. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.